Hi yogis, welcome to the Spring Into Your Practice Challenge. Thank you for joining me on day one as we um, kickstart this whole little thing. Uh, we have seven days, seven practices. You can do them all in a row, you can mix them up. You'll only get one a day though, so um, if you're starting afterwards, you can mix them all up. But they're yours to come back to again and again after you, uh, after you complete the challenge. So each class is designed to be a really quick building a yoga habit for you. Uh, my goal is 10 minutes or less. We know how I like to run my mouth, so um, I might not be able to edit some of that out from time to time, but we're gonna try. All right, so here we go. Today we are kickstarting practice. It doesn't take any special knowledge of yoga. It doesn't take any special props. It's just getting moving. So even if you are joining me and you have never been on a yoga mat before, you can do all of this on um, just the floor, maybe spread out a towel or, whatever, maybe a blanket. Maybe you don't even need to do that. If you have a slippery floor though, you might wanna do something. All right, so we are going to get started in child's pose. So knees are nice and wide, big toes touch, hands reach out in front of you, but keep them about shoulder width here. Bring the forehead to the mat. We're going to take three breaths here. Breathe into the back, feel the ribs spread, and then exhale everything out. You can keep your mouth open for this big exhale. Inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the mouth if you like. Last big breath, breathe all the way in. And then let everything go. Look towards the hands. We're going to rock forward. You might have to walk your hands forward a little bit. Knees might come back a tiny, tiny bit. Your knees are about hip width. We're going to lower down between the hands into a little, uh, little push-up here, and then push straight back into your child's pose. Inhale, come forward for this push-up. It's like a chaturanga, so the elbows scrape by the ribs. We're lowering down to the mat, and then back. Child's pose, warming up the whole body here. Forward, lower down. Going in threes here today, and then back into your child's pose. All right, from this child's pose, let's curl the toes under and reach the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So upside down V, look between the hands. Press the heels towards the mat. Look up towards the hands, walk, step, hop, however you want to get there. The feet are right behind the wrists. And then melt over the legs, bend the knees. Maybe wrap the fingers around your big toes, your two-piece fingers. Inhale, half lift, push the thumb into the floor. Look down between the hand, or between the nose, or below the nose. I'll get it. Exhale, hands come to the mat, release the toes. Step your right foot back, right knee comes down to the mat, and reach both arms up towards the sky, or ceiling, or wherever you happen to be. Bring your right hand down inside the left foot. Lift your right knee off the mat, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Beautiful, sweep that. Left arm behind you, look behind you. And then windmill those hands, both hands down either side of that front foot. Step back, top of your push up, lower down either all the way or halfway. Scoop up and in for your up dog or all the way to the mat for your cobra. And then find your way to your downward facing dog. Right leg reaches behind you and then step between the hands. Left knee comes to the mat. Let's find that easy twist. Reach all the way up. Nice, lift that back knee off the mat and then reach behind you. I suppose you could do that with the knee down if, it prefer, if you prefer. Both hands come forward. This time we're stepping forward, forward fold. Big toes might touch if you like. If you need a little bit more space for your anatomy, you go ahead and take it. Root to rise all the way up. Inhale, reach. Sweep the arms all the way up. Look up. Hands come to heart center. All right, we're going to flow through that just twice. This is twice. <laughs> Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Take a half lift. 
step back with that right foot keep the right hand on the mat sweep the arm up and back into the twist both hands come down either side of the front foot step back through your vinyasa which is that chaturanga up dog and down dog step the right foot forward easy twist right arm up maybe look back sink low when you reach that right hand back it forces you to sit that hip low and then step back through your vinyasa lower down inhale and exhale beautiful let's take a look up towards the hands maybe you hop on this one maybe you step reach the arms all the way up take a nice back bend at the top and then last time through all the way down this time we're going to step the left leg back keep that left hand inside right arm reaches up look back sink the hips low both hands come either side of that front foot step back through your vinyasa inhale for your up dog exhale for your down dog left leg comes forward right into that twist reach up look back nice nice both hands come down and step back through your vinyasa got lost for a minute there and then find your way to your downward facing dog both feet are on the mat head is super heavy here take a breath inhale lift the tailbone maybe bend the knees and then push the heels towards the mat straightening the legs knees come down to the mat sitting all the way back hips to heels wrap the arms around behind you interlace the fingers squeeze the elbows together and open up the heart space here maybe reach the head back look up towards the sky press the palms together float the arms back behind you nice go ahead and release the hands stay seated right here on your hips and then bring the arms out in front of you interlace the fingers i'm going to interlace mine the funky way and then press the palms away round into the back and then release the hands all the way down bring your legs out in front of you make sure you have room behind you so i'm going to keep a tiny bend in my knees here to start and then walk my hands behind so fingers are pointing towards the back of the mat and I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together and open up my heart space and push into the shoulders pushing my heart forward so that pulls the arms together so this is a little intense on the shoulders the first time you do it it's also intense on the elbows so you want those fingers behind you now, if you want a little bit more, you're gonna walk the hands close or the feet closer to your body and maybe cross the right leg over the left and take this figure four. And trust me, you're still feeling it in your shoulders and your arms. You can tuck your chin. Make sure you keep lifting through the heart though. I'm gonna go ahead and release that right foot if you have it over the left and then bring the left over the right flexing through that foot that's on top maybe walking those feet back just a tiny or those hands back just a tiny bit releasing that figure four and then to come out of it just sliding forward pulling the uh, shoulder blades apart walk the heels in towards your seat and wrap your arms around the legs grabbing onto opposite elbows tucking the chin Taking a few rounds of breath here in this little ball shape should feel really nice in the arms. And then go ahead and find your way towards your seated shape. Anything that what comes to you that feels good to complete your practice, hands rest on your knees. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very super quick practice just to get you going, get the heart rate up there a little bit, feel like you've moved a little. It does not take much to create a habit, just tiny habits inserted throughout points that make sense in your day. And before you know it, you have a yoga habit. 
Thanks for joining me on the mat today. Come back tomorrow. We've got another one. Namaste.